An aircraft flies across the Atlantic and glides in to land safely at Heathrow. It seems fairly straightforward. Of course, since Heathrow is the busiest two-runway airport in the world, handling around 650 arrivals per day, things are never as simple as they look. But really, how hard can it be? Well, there are a lot of things to think about when landing planes, and safety is top priority. Did you know that for safety reasons, aircraft take off and land into the wind? Since the wind at Heathrow normally comes from the west, approximately 70% of our arrivals come into the airport from the east over London. This is called westerly operations. But when the wind is blowing from the east, we switch to easterly operations, where aircraft come in to land from the west, gliding in over Windsor, whether the Queen is at home or not. Heathrow's day starts at 4.30 a.m. It's early, but government rules mean only around 16 arrivals are scheduled to land up to 6 a.m. And these have to be the quietest types of planes to make sure people living close to the airport get a break. After 6 a.m., the airport gets very busy, so planes are held in four stacks. The locations of these stacks were set by the government back in the 1960s. They circle around the holding stacks until directed to land at Heathrow. Planes are directed from the holding stacks onto the final approach by air traffic controllers. The routes they take will vary depending on things like weather conditions and how busy the surrounding airspace is. Once on the final approach, planes descend on a straight line at the internationally agreed angle of 3 degrees. On westerly operations, we alternate the arrivals runway to ensure that no one living under the final approach is overflown all day. So, if our arrivals started the day touching down on the northern runway, at 3 p.m. we switch to land on the southern runway. We then keep that arrival pattern until the last flight around 11 p.m. There you go. Easy. The only exception is from 6 to 7 a.m. Because it's so busy, planes are allowed to land on both runways to reduce delays. Sometimes a build-up of delays in the day also means that planes have to land on the runway being used for departures. Air traffic controllers are limited to how many are allowed to do this, as we know people value their time without aircraft overhead. And then there's the British weather. Strong winds and fog can affect arriving aircraft at Heathrow. A change in wind direction can also mean a switch from westerly to easterly operations at any time. Specially assigned Met Office boffins are constantly analysing the wind conditions at 3,000 feet. So although the general forecast might say the wind is going in one direction, we might be operating in another, because the winds at 3,000 feet differ from the wind direction at ground level. Being the busiest two-runway airport in the world means Heathrow's operations are complex, and there are lots of things to consider. But as well as safety, minimising the impact of the airport's operations for local communities is a top priority for Heathrow.